Welcome to WebStyle Press. IP address is a very useful information about the client or user. It is also the first thing you should know about your website visitor. In this JavaScript tutorial, we are finding client's IP address without using any API key. And I have got two methods to do that. In this HTML, we have Bootstrap linked for basic styling. And at the end, app.js file. Here is just some text. Below that, we've got a heading and a div. These two lines are important. Focus on two classes here. Result class and link class. We will inject IP address in the div that has a result class. Div with class link will be used to inject a link to get more info related to IP address. That's it. This is our HTML. The logic will be in app.js file that is linked with this HTML document at the bottom. First method is about using Cloudflare to get the IP address. API URL is this without API key. Declare an asynchronous function using arrow function syntax. Here we will call this function or invoke this function. Use a try block to execute the code and catch block to handle exception. Inside try block, use fetch API to retrieve data from the URL. Use await keyword to wait for the promise to resolve and store the result in the response variable. Call the text method on the response object to read it as text. Again, use await keyword for the promise to resolve storing the text in the data variable. Let's console log and see what have we got. This is the output. The IP is there and we just have to fetch that IP. So, We can use a regular expression to find IP address in the fetched text like this data dot match using this regex expression and then store it in IP match variable. This regex is designed to match an IP address. I will get back to its syntax in a minute. If regex expression matches, it means we have a valid IP address. Find HTML element with the class result and set its text content to the matched IP address. After that, we are again using document.curiouselector to find element with class link in the HTML document. And then we are setting its inner HTML to create a hyperlink to an IP location service. This is the IP location service URL and at the end we appended matched IP address that we are getting from here. Save and here is the IP address. Let's click at the link and here is the IP address and the country, region, city, ISP and other information related to that IP address. Okay, the regex expression. 0913. This part matches any sequence of 1 to 3 digits from 0 to 9. Then this backslash with a period or dot. This part matches the literal dot character. This entire regex expression is composed of 4 0, 09 and 13 separated by 3 backslash and periods forming the familiar structure of an IP address such as 192.168.0.1. This character set matches any single digit between 0 to 9. This quantifier specifies that the preceding character set, this character set can appear between 1 and 3 times. So it can match single digit number, double digit numbers and triple digit numbers. 
The backslash is an escape character for the dot, making sure that it is treated as a literal period character rather than a special regex character that matches any character. Note that we have got four combinations of these one, two, three, four, separated by period. So when you put it all together, this whole expression will match any valid IPv4 address. And we get this. So we use Cloudflare here to get the client's IP address. This is one method. I have a second method that is easier than this, I promise. Okay, let's comment this whole thing. And here is our second method using IP5. API URL is this api.ipfi.org. And this is site address. Here again, create an asynchronous function. Use try catch block inside try. Get data from the URL using fetch. We are waiting until we get a response back and then we store it in a variable called the response. Next, read the data received as text and store it in a variable called data. Let's console log data and see what are we receiving. Nothing because we haven't initialized or invoked this function. Let's invoke it here. Save. This is the IP address that we have got. Just the IP address. Okay, so we've got the IP address. Now we just have to display it. Find an element on the web page with a class name of result and display the IP address there. After that, and also find another element with a class name of link and put a clickable link inside it. When clicked, this link will take us to a website that shows the location associated with the IP address, like we did before. This is the website, ip2location.com slash demo slash, and this is the data, that is the IP address that we're appending at the end of this URL. Save. And we've got the IP address of client. So this is how easy it is to get the IP address of client or visitor and display it on a web page. IP to location link will display more information about this IP address. So these examples also provide us a way to trace the IP address for location and some other information. Of course, my IP address that you see here is masked to avoid privacy issues. But there you go. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.